Who is the founder of the semiconductor industry in Taiwan? The answer is Morris Chang, a dynamo of the tech world. Born in 1931 in the city of Ningbo, China, Chang was the son of a finance official and later bank manager. These early years were a time of change and challenge, with the outbreak of the Second Sino-Japanese War causing the Chang family to move frequently. Young Morris spent a significant part of his primary education in British Hong Kong. Originally, Chang dreamed of becoming a novelist or journalist, but his father persuaded him to consider a different path. Despite the war, the family managed to maintain a focus on education, a factor that would later play a significant role in Chang's career trajectory. The trials of war and his father's influence shaped the young Morris Chang, preparing him for a future that would change the face of Taiwan's tech industry. In 1949, a significant shift occurred in Morris Chang's life as he ventured to the United States to attend Harvard University. A young Chang, filled with intellectual curiosity and a thirst for knowledge, found himself in the hallowed halls of this prestigious institution. However, he soon realized his heart was calling him towards a different path. He transferred to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, a hub for innovation and technological advancement in his sophomore year. At MIT, Chang embraced the rigorous academic environment with open arms. He delved deeply into the intricacies of mechanical engineering, immersing himself in the complexities of this discipline. His dedication and perseverance culminated in a bachelor's and master's degree in mechanical engineering in 1952 and 1953, respectively. Yet, his academic journey wasn't without its hurdles. Despite his best efforts, Chang failed two consecutive doctoral qualification examinations. Unfazed by this setback, Chang made the bold decision to leave MIT without obtaining a PhD. As one door closed, another opened. Chang was presented with an enticing job offer from the Ford Motor Company in 1955. However, he chose to tread an unconventional path. Declining the offer, he decided to join Sylvania Semiconductor, a small semiconductor division of Sylvania Electric Products. This decision, though seemingly ordinary, would prove monumental in the years to come. In hindsight, this was a pivotal moment in Chang's life. His decision to join Sylvania Semiconductor was not merely a career choice, but a stepping stone into a world that would eventually recognize him as a visionary. He chose the road less traveled, and that made all the difference. The decision to join Sylvania Semiconductor marked the beginning of Morris's journey into the world of semiconductors. In 1958, Morris Chang moved to Texas Instruments, a company rapidly rising in the semiconductor industry. With a fresh perspective and a knack for innovation, Chang brought a unique angle to the company, which was already making waves in its field. Chang's rise within Texas Instruments was nothing short of meteoric. From the get-go, he proved his mettle as a formidable force in the industry. Within three short years, he ascended to the position of manager of the engineering section, a testament to his technical acumen and leadership skills. But Chang was not just a manager, he was a visionary, a game-changer. His work on a four-transistor project was a testament to this. The manufacturing for this project was done by none other than IBM, marking one of the early semiconductor foundry relationships in the industry. This wasn't just a project, it was a stepping stone for a new era of collaboration and innovation. But perhaps his most groundbreaking contribution at Texas Instruments was his pioneering idea of pricing semiconductors ahead of the cost curve. This was a controversial notion at the time, one that went against the grain. It meant sacrificing early profits, a move that many would have shied away from. But Chang was not like most people. He saw beyond the short term, he saw the potential for greater profits over an extended timeline. This strategy was not just about profits though, it was about market share. It was about establishing Texas Instruments as a dominant player in the semiconductor industry. In essence, it was about taking calculated risks for the greater good of the company. And it worked. Chang's idea was not just accepted, it was embraced. It became a cornerstone of Texas Instruments business strategy propelling the company to new heights. It was a gamble that paid off, and it was all thanks to Chang's innovative thinking and leadership. 
During his 25-year tenure at Texas Instruments, Chang climbed the ranks, eventually becoming the group vice president. It was a position that came with great responsibility, but Chang was more than up to the task. He led with conviction, with a clear vision for the future of the company. He was not just a leader, he was a catalyst for change. His time at Texas Instruments was transformative, not just for him, but for the company and the industry as a whole. He pushed boundaries, challenged conventions, and paved the way for a new era of semiconductor technology. His innovative ideas and strategic thinking were instrumental in shaping the company's trajectory and solidifying its place in the industry. Chang's innovative thinking and leadership skills propelled him up the ranks at Texas Instruments, laying the groundwork for his future endeavors. His journey at Texas Instruments was a testament to his vision, his determination, and his unparalleled ability to turn ideas into reality. It was here that he honed his leadership skills, and it was here that he laid the foundation for what would become a legendary career in the semiconductor industry. Morris Chang made a significant impact on Taiwan's tech industry by founding the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC. This move wasn't just a career shift for Chang. It was a catalyst that transformed Taiwan's position in the global tech landscape. Chang's journey with TSMC began in 1987 when he returned to Taiwan after a successful career in the United States. His dream was to create a company that would be a cornerstone of Taiwan's semiconductor industry. And with his vision, experience, and an unshakable resolve, he set out to do just that. As the founder, chairman, and CEO of TSMC, Chang was instrumental in shaping the company's strategic direction and operational efficiency. Under his leadership, TSMC became a powerhouse in semiconductor manufacturing attracting global clients seeking advanced and reliable chip production. But Chang's vision for TSMC was bigger than just manufacturing semiconductors. He saw TSMC as a critical player in driving technological innovation around the world. And indeed, TSMC's advancements in chip technology have made significant contributions to the global tech landscape, powering everything from smartphones to supercomputers. TSMC's success also played a critical role in shaping Taiwan's semiconductor industry. Chang's leadership and the company's growth spurred the development of a robust tech ecosystem in Taiwan, attracting talent and investments, and propelling the country to the forefront of semiconductor manufacturing. In fact, Chang's influence extends beyond TSMC and Taiwan. He played a pivotal role in the global semiconductor industry, pioneering the foundry model where companies like TSMC manufacture chips for tech companies that design but do not produce their own semiconductors. This model has since been widely adopted, driving innovation and efficiency in the industry. Chang's vision and leadership at TSMC have cemented his legacy as the founder of Taiwan's semiconductor industry. His contributions have not only transformed a company and a country, but have also reshaped the global tech landscape. Indeed, without Morris Chang, the tech world as we know it today would be vastly different. Today, Morris Chang's contributions to the semiconductor industry are recognized globally. A man of vision and resilience, Chang has not only carved an indelible mark in the tech industry, but also left a legacy that continues to inspire a whole new generation of innovators and dreamers. As the founder of Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, Chang has demonstrated that the path to success is often paved with challenges and obstacles. Yet his remarkable journey from a small town in Ningbo to becoming a tech titan is a testament to the power of ambition and the relentless pursuit of dreams. From his early days at Texas Instruments to his rise as a leader in the semiconductor industry, Chang has always been a forward thinker. His pioneering idea of pricing semiconductors ahead of the cost curve was a controversial yet game-changing strategy that transformed the dynamics of the industry. Today, his net worth is estimated at a staggering $2.8 billion, a reflection of his lifelong dedication to innovation and entrepreneurship. Yet his true wealth lies not in his financial assets, but in the impact he has made on the tech industry and beyond. In Taiwan, 
Chang is hailed as the semiconductor industry founder. His leadership and vision have not only propelled Taiwan's tech industry to new heights, but also put the country on the global map as a leading player in the semiconductor space. Globally, Chang's influence is far-reaching. He has set a benchmark for innovation, inspiring countless businesses and entrepreneurs across the world. His legacy lies in his ability to see beyond the present, to envision a future shaped by technology, and to have the courage to turn that vision into reality. From his humble beginnings in Ningbo to becoming a tech titan, Morris Chang's journey is a testament to the power of vision, innovation, and resilience. His story serves as a reminder to us all that with passion, determination, and a never-give-up attitude, we too can leave a lasting legacy in this ever-evolving world of technology.